Here we go. Oh, baby. <laughs> you see the lead Roy get added in? Yeah, I can see how this could work. This actually seems like probably one of the more solid variants of the time. I, I like the directness of the plan. It almost looks... It almost honestly looks like a rogue deck. Just... Like, like maybe I'm just thinking that because Jay Alexander linked it, but it feels it feels a little roguey to me. Your worst matchup was Shaman when you played Priest to Legend. That's interesting. I remember back in the day, people used to bring Priest to counter Shaman. That was a thing. There was like a control Priest, control Warrior, control lineup thing that, you know, good players would get to top eight with, and then the winner of the tournament would be some dumb guy playing Zoo. Not saying any names. But uh, I was the guy playing Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The control decks were cool. It's just, you know, it's a little better to play the uh, aggro decks. I'm going to keep this whole thing. But there were some really good players that played control really well that made you think for a second. Maybe control is better than aggro. The light protects me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's feeling icky. I'm tempted to try and be relaxed with it and not just blow my circle. I like Lepernome Smite. Lepernome Smite Bump. I like Bump Heal. I'm not hero powering in a tempo mansion. <laughs> it feels so bad to get zero from this circle later, potentially. But it. I think we want to save it for the Tempo plays. We want to save it for the Blade Master. We want to save it for the Soul Priest. One card draw is, is good, but uh, he's going to Divine Favor that card anyway. It's all about Tempo. So we just took the line that was 100% Tempo, playing towards what the matchup is, you know? Hmm. Can't. Come on, man. Right away. Your druid did really well against Tiddler in the finale? Yeah. I drew wild growth. A lot. I was feeling it. But uh, I got really lucky a bit because um, people thought Handlock countered Druid back then. And Druid's got a lot of bursts, so it does really well versus Handlock. So I was able to find a pocket in the metagame where there was a misunderstanding and capitalize on that. It doesn't happen very much in Hearthstone now. People are too smart. Very few misunderstandings. Usually people pretty much understand what the meta is by day five. Different time, man. There was no, like, data sites or anything like that. Or you had to do it by hand. You had to bust out the notebook. I smell blood. Yeah, Drew, people were like, Drew just loses to a turn 488. And I was like, ah, he's just... You kill the two mountain giants, they don't got anything left, and then you just sit around while they, you know, twiddle their thumbs, and then you 22 them. That's how it went every time. I got two of them. I'm playing one. If he doesn't, he can't quality consecrate me yet, so... Alright. It works, guys. Priest is insane. Tier 1 deck. We did it. Broke the meta. I can't take all the credit, though. It's J. Alexander's deck. I've been liking uh, TFT, though. That's how I get my auto battler fix. Because auto battler is one of the genres I really like. But uh, the new set 5 for TFT came out. I played all the way to Masters on that. I want to try and get Challenger this season. I finally feel like I'm starting to get more comfortable with like um, how the unit AI works for positioning and stuff. So it's more than just making comps now. Now it's making comps and positioning them correctly sometimes. But I feel that I feel that growth and that feels good. Oh crap! Who made this deck? This deck is terrible. <laughs> Where's my early game? I full toss for early game and I get more late game. This is it. This is not good. 
Oh, jeez. And he's curving out. Yeah, I don't think this deck has a lot of nuance. I think we just try and play our curve and then burn them out. Oh, the targeting was just bugged. I was like, wait a minute. Is someone injured? Yeah, one wrath just ends my whole my whole career in this game. Where shall I strike? The plays, though. Look at this. Huh? Huh? Got a card. Insane. Where shall I strike? Alright, hit that Yeti. Save me, Ragnaros. Not too bad. 23. Oh my god, he's got the diamond rag. It never misses. Pay to win. Wait, he's got BGH also? Okay, okay, it's just a harvest golem. Alright, we're dodging. Jeez. I hit the rag. Come on, game. Hit the rag. Look how big and shiny it is. You know you want to kill it. Oh, God. The whelp. Peace. Just subscribed for 23 months. Well, welcome back to the back cave team thing, man. Glad to have you here. Life. All right, you've had two shots. You've had plenty of time to warm up. Now it's time to really put your game face on and focus, Rag. Get the job done. Yes. Here we go. We just need a little pep talk. You just need a little pep talk. We're in there. I must safeguard the land. No, 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 my card draw engine. Ezra Drake? Oh, jeez. Oh, I might need the spell damage on these mind blasts. That's a sentence a lot of people don't get to say. Ah! We're not answering the problems. We're dead. That was too confident. It's, it's over. Force of nature. No. Tree time. So close. Zoo can be tough because of their constant, relentless pressure. They get it, they just keep going. You board clear and then there's more. 
and then you board clear again, and then there's more. So they can be a bit tricky. So you do need to get like gas against them, so an acolyte's not horrible. I'd rather try and just full mole for AoE clear. Get one big clear, then get 